Hello, this is Melena Ray Johnson with For Nerdy Girls with Melena Ray Johnson. And today's topic is making friends is hard. What should I do? So we're going to answer three questions today. One, who are you? Two, who do you want to meet? I guess I should be whom. <laughs> whom do you want to meet? And three, where do these people hang out? So before we start, I am going to introduce myself yet again. I'm Melena Ray Johnson, and I went to what? Let's see. I went to Loyola Marymount University for film school. I went to University of Southern California for business school, where I got my MBA in marketing, entertainment, and entrepreneurship. And since that time, I have gone on hundreds of informational interviews and done. Yes hundreds of informational interviews and hundreds of coffee chats. And there's another figure that I was just, oh yes, I've gone to many conferences, mixers, just so many networking events. I used to go to two a week um, for a couple years, meeting all these new people. So I'm immensely qualified to help you make new friends in business. And oh, also, I'm writing my fourth book, Love It A Luau, which is about a refugee suffering from PTSD who is scared to fall in love with a single dad. Hello, Jennifer. All right, so the, the thing that we're gonna talk about today is making friends is hard, yes. As you may know, if you are an adult, hopefully you are, you are watching this video and thinking, yeah, making friends is hard, especially as an adult. After you graduate from whatever school you're at, whether it's high school, college, university, or graduate school, or your PhD program, if you have continued that far in your overeducation, it can be hard to meet people who are just hanging out with you all the time in the regular world. Whether you're in your workplace or you're an entrepreneur who works uh, solo or you're leading a small team or wherever you're working, it can be hard to make friends. So I will use myself as an example because even though I'm an, ex an expert, sometimes I feel like, where, where are my friends at? And of course, as I say this, there'll be people who say, I'm right here. <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm your friend. Okay, so I will give it a specific example. So this, this past week has been challenging for me for various reasons, but one is the acknowledgement that I am not the type of parent that I thought I would be, not in terms of parenting children, but in terms of interacting with other parents. So I have multiple friends across the globe, yay, but I don't have parent friends here, where I am, <laughs> in, in my neighborhood, in my city, in my area, in, in my state, I guess in my state, but I can't see them. And it is hard. It is hard feeling like I have done a lot of work to go out there and shake it and move it and be cool and fun and actually try to be myself and take interest in other people and still, I don't have the parent friends or parent support group that I want. And I wanted to say that to let you know that even though it may seem like me or other people that you watch videos about have it all together and they're experts on their topics, they can still be struggling with things on their own related to their topics. So I do like making new friends. I like making new friends in person. I like making new friends online, but uh, with regards to to parenting specifically, it can be hard for me to feel like everyone else has parent friends in their city who they just go to play dates with and have coffees and they, they like this imaginary thing in my head where I'm thinking everybody's doing this all the time, even though they have full time jobs, obviously. So that's how that's how I'm feeling about I don't have any parent friends. So I can imagine that some of you may be going through the same issue or you may be feeling like I don't have any insert group here friends. Like I don't have any friends who share my same ethnic background. Like if you are a person who is specifically, let's say El, El Salvadoran, El Salvadorian, and you're like, I really wish I could connect with more El Salvadorians in my city. And people are like, what about Mexicans? And I said, El, El Salvador, I'm from Guatemala. Okay, but do you know anyone from El Salvador too? Or if you like to do a specific activity, like you like going to yoga, but you are not in an area where you can make yoga friends because people aren't necessarily into that lifestyle 
where you are. It can be hard. So the first thing I want you to do is identify who are you. Now, who are you in terms of the people that you would like to attract in your life? So let's say you are a plumber and you have lots of plumber friends, but you'd really like to explore your uh, hobby of knitting with other knitting people. But you don't know any knitting people. Is that the type of person you want to attract? Then yes, identify yourself as a knitting person who wants to knit. Or if you are a um, investment banker and you know lots of investment bankers and you're like, I have enough investment banker friends, but I would like to meet some people who enjoy watching polo and none of your friends really enjoy watching polo, but you know that they know other people who enjoy watching polo and those are the people that you want to attract more polo people. Or you are a singer who knows other singers and other people in your entertainment of singing industry, but you would like to get out and run more marathons. But you don't know any runners, you don't know any marathoners, you love running, but you don't know how to connect with other people who run marathons like you want to. That's gonna be who you are for this exercise. Next, who do you want to meet? This is simple. We've already identified who you are, so you want to meet another another El, Sal El Salvadorian person. <laughs> I, I am sure I'm saying that wrong. I could have looked it up before, but I did not. So leave a comment and tell me what people from El Salvador call themselves, and if there are any who would like to meet each other. You might, or you have identified that you want to you want to hang out with more people who watch polo. Those are the people you want to meet or you have identified that you want to meet more marathon runners or more knitting people. You want to meet more people who knit. So you're going to think about the people that you want to attract based on who you are. Now, some of these things can have different dynamics. For instance, I am a black lady in the Los Angeles area, and it can be hard to connect with other black people for various reasons, which I think I've talked about that in before some other videos, not for, for nerdy girls, but I have talked about that. And it can be hard to find other black people who are entrepreneurs or other black people who uh, are interested in entertainment or other black people who are also parents or other black people who do yoga or other black people who read books. So it's not that you can't find other black people. It's just those, you can't go up to everybody and say, do you like yoga and books? Do, do you like watching movies? Because that'll be like, oh gosh, oh, I gotta go, oh, I gotta go. So, so, <laughs> so having those intersections of things can be difficult to find just out and about. If you're, if you're like, say, you're at Target or at the park, uh, and hoping you see somebody with a book and also a hockey stick, that can be difficult. So, you're going to then identify where these people hang out. So, you want to be in either in a in-person setting, you pick one thing that you really like and you really identify as, pick one thing. So for this thing, we're gonna make it a little easier. So people with marathons, cause, they're, cause when there's a marathon, there are a lot of people out. So you can identify other marathon runners and you can also look up groups for people who are checking out, uh, not checking out, what is it, not rehearsing. Uh, training, that's it. They are training for a marathon. So you, before the marathon even starts, you could join a training group for a marathon. Or if you're looking for people who, who knit, there are stores that sell knitting supplies all by themselves. There are also stores that sell other hobbies, supplies as well. And they also have groups online, both on Facebook and on meetup.com. So meetup.com is a great place for you to look for people who share your interests. Um, it can be overwhelming because um, if you're in a big city uh, you, and you have one interest, like cycling, there can be many, many cycling groups and they might not all be at the same activity level and they might not all be the right one for you. So if you're in a smaller <laughs> location, like in the middle of Kansas, it, there may be less opportunity for you to find the specific group that you like. So I want you to first identify who you are, what aspect of you is needing some companionship, a high five or a hug 
ask first. And who do you want to meet? Who are the people that you want to attract to you to share this experience that you're going through? And then three, where do these people hang out? Identify, identify what are they? Identify opportunities to connect with like-minded people, either uh, go where you know they're going to be and, and actually be there in person, or connect with people online so that you can then meet up in the real world. Or if these people are online and you, you do something like you like uh, Dungeons and Dragons and you just want to connect with more people who, who like Dungeons and Dragons and, for instance, are ladies, which can be a little more challenging to find because I went looking for ladies who like Legos to connect with them and that was a little harder. <laughs> Some people had, had not been posting on their site. Some people had too, not too many fans. I mean, they had enough fans for them, but just it was too much to wade through and so I didn't, it, it can be a little overwhelming. So pace yourself and also recognize that it can take time to make friends. So it's not going to be you, you meet someone there and then they're instantly your friend. This is something that is going to take time and effort and courage because sometimes people are weirdos or sometimes people are at different places in their life. So it's not necessarily about you. It can be about them and you keep it moving. Keep putting yourself out there and know sometimes you need to take a step back, recuperate, and then go out again. All right, so we've recapped about making friends is hard, what should I do? One, you identify who you are. Two, say who you wanna meet. And three, figure out where those people hang out. If you have comments, please leave them uh, here on Facebook. And if you have comments and you're not on Facebook, then email me at fornerdygirls at gmail.com. Also, if you said to yourself, I really want to make new friends in, in my area or in my interest, and I think the way I can help you with that, then email me at fernerdygirls.com for your 30-minute breakthrough, breakthrough session about communication, conversation, and collaboration. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.